we have to find this limit. Let's do it two ways. Let's do it the fast way and the careful way. So the quick way or the fast way is to think about it. Um, you can ignore the one as x approaches negative infinity. Who cares about the one? The numbers are going to become obscene. So this is really approximately equal to 8x squared over x, which is equal to 8x. And x is approaching negative infinity. So 8x is approaching 8 negative infinity. This is terrible, but that's the right answer. Okay, so that's uh, probably not what you want to do if you're watching this video to, uh, you know, learn how to do this uh, for like a test or something or uh, for school or something. Um, so to do it the right way or the correct way takes a little bit more work, so proof. If you look at the fast way, you kind of see some motivation to do it the correct way. We ended up really just dividing by x here, right? We divided by x. So what we'll do is we'll divide everything by x. We'll have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 8x squared, and we're going to divide this by x over, and then x plus 1, and we'll divide this by x. Right? We can do that, right? All we really did was we took 1 over x divided by 1 over x, and we multiplied by it. That's 1, right? This cancels, so it's okay. This is equal to the limit as x approaches negative infinity. And let's see, so in the, in the numerator here, we're just going to get 8x. And then here, this is x over x, so this is 1 plus 1 over x. So as x approaches negative infinity, 1 over x is going to get really, really small. It's going to approach 0. So, um, and then this piece here, this is going to approach negative infinity. So this is equal to negative infinity. So I hope this helps uh, someone out there.